Hello? Hi, just give me like two minutes, I'm just filming a video. Right, so hey guys, Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all keeping safe and hope you're all having an amazing day. Today is a completely different video to the sort of thing that I'd normally make. Today is just going to be five tips to help with anxiety because obviously during lockdown, anxiety and mental health problems do affect all of us and it is a really tough time for everyone right now. I myself have really bad anxiety. I've talked about it a lot over the years in YouTube and I know how tough lockdown can be for mental health and that sort of thing as well. So I'm going to give you sort of five tips that have been helping me a lot during lockdown. They're really simple. Anyone can do it. It doesn't require much effort, but it's made all the difference for me. So this is sort of like point zero. First thing that I always remember to myself is that anxiety is in my control a lot of people feel like anxiety is like this cloud raining over your life and something that's holding you back and stuff like that and I know how that makes it feel but what you got to remember is it is in your control and you can get free from it you can make yourself better from it I know it's tricky I know it's hard and I know it is honestly horrible but you are in control and you have got this I believe in you right number one be active and get some exercise whether you're literally going for a run every day which I started doing whether you lift weights whether you do some sit-ups some push-ups or that sort of thing as well honestly getting some exercise and being active can make all the difference to you as well while we've been allowed to have one bit of exercise every day that's something that I've done that's really helped me I started running and I started doing pull-ups and that sort of thing that has really helped me because anxiety does make you just feel like you want to stay in bed all day so once you break past that and just do something even if it's just at the start for every day like I run for like half an hour every day I never track like how far I go or anything I literally just go to one point and back every single day and it makes me feel so much better so I'd highly recommend that second is eat healthy and avoid alcohol now I'm 20 year old lad I love drinking I love getting pissed on my mates I'm not gonna lie you guys know how much of a big thing drinking is to my channel and my friendship so I know that this is a bit of a tricky one but just trying to be a bit more healthy and try and avoid alcohol as much as you can only because alcohol as we know is a depressant so it doesn't help with things like depression anxiety and that sort of thing as well so if you are feeling low or a bit anxious try not to think of alcohol as a way to get away from that trust me because you know the next day you'll probably feel worse anyway I do it all the time it's okay to drink every now and then don't get me wrong I do it as well plus while we have got all this free time you might as well get pissed with your parents why not but just try not to do it as frequently as possible because it will just make things worse for you also every single day I make smoothies so whether it's just like strawberry and banana and like some sort of fruit juice or it might even make a milkshake that sort of thing it does make you feel better and obviously a big one is drinking water make sure you drink a lot of water because it is really important and it is something that a lot of people go without so just try drink as much as you can and literally in a week's time you might feel so much better okay this was a big one for me keep or make a routine before lockdown i was in a really good routine where i'd get up every day i'd go for a shower i'd go to work come back eat go to gym that sort of thing as well and obviously now lockdown's happened it's quite hard to stick to routine it's quite good to take time off but don't let it distract your life when you don't have a routine you don't have a reason to get up in the morning and that's the bit that i struggle with that's the reason why i make daily videos now just keep me in a routine to make sure every single day i'm editing for two hours i'm filming all day and it gives me something to do something to work towards every single day making a routine can literally be right okay so i'm gonna get up at this time i'm gonna shower this time i'm gonna do some university work for example or i'm gonna do some work work but it can be literally anything just try and make a routine for yourself and honestly it will make you feel a lot better another big one for me as well which is quite hard to get used to because you know i'm a social media influencer or whatever you want to call me but taking time away from your phone can honestly massively help with anxiety i struggle with it all the time my girlfriend hates when i do it but sometimes i just turn my phone off all day avoid twitter avoid instagram that sort of thing as well you might be like me you might tweet loads of positive that sort of thing it is quite hard just to be dealing with all the sad stuff you do see on social media so just try take a few hours out of your day just go on your phone a bit less go on your ipad a bit less maybe do things like read a book or do something a bit more productive and just see the difference it makes because i was quite surprised how much of a massive difference no social media made for me so give that a go okay the last one this was something completely new to me and i never really done it before until I started doing my mentoring but meditation and breathing exercises have massively helped me as well just google breathing exercises loads of apps on the app store just taking a few minutes out of your day just to slow down take deep breaths and that sort of thing as well follow a bit of a routine a pattern can make you feel so much better following these breathing exercises does help for calming you down as well my girlfriend suggested a really good app called calm which is really good for just getting into a routine of how to breathe when you get anxious and that sort of thing as well so things like that do honestly help meditation as well I do meditation whenever I can my mentor has taught it me as well so just google go on YouTube meditation tutorials they're very simple it's not as weird as i thought it was going to be it literally takes five minutes and it can change day for the best so that's what i'd recommend but anyway guys that's it like i said i'm trying to keep this video as short as i can the reason there isn't an actual vlog today is because i'm not feeling the best um so i decided to make a video just to sort of help with anxiety what i do and i don't feel that good and that sort of thing as well so that's what i do anyway there's lots of other things so if you want to message me and find out more about the stuff that i do and i can message you find out the stuff that you do to help with anxiety we can help each other and that sort of thing as well but yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please leave a thumbs up because i'm loving daily vlogging i don't know how long i've been doing it now but it's been so many days i think I think I'm on the streak to beat George's daily vlog record, which was like 60 days or something. So I'm going to try to beat that, which would be really impressive. Sorry, George. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I love you all so much. Have a good day. Goodbye. I don't think I've ever spoke so fast in a video before.